Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 15, NASDAQ up 5.5, S&P's up 4.5. Gold, gold contract down $3.20, trading at 1851 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, $21.09 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 87 cents. $80.56 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down two ticks, trading at a price point of 111 flat. The 30-year, down seven at 124.21. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now trading, where are you, baby? Up, uh, down 171 ticks at 104.349. The yen is trading at 136. The pound is at 102, 106 rather. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Can you say a setup for an ABC structure down, folks? Well, that's where I'm going with this whole deal. So check it out. If we take a look at where we're going here, right? First, if we just do the retracement, what you're going to see, the S&P, you know, it was slightly less than a 0.618. That being said, the contraction of volume out here is pretty amazing out here today. So right now, you got 51 million shares. On Friday, we did uh, 90 million, and you're going into uh, 89 million. This setup here, by the way, okay, if you get an ABC down, you got a failure on price and volume out here today. This setup would bring you right down to the low swing point of this 374. That's how that's set up. And that's a high volume low at 374. And I suspect what's going to happen here is that this is going to be all about Powell. Powell is in front of the Senate tomorrow and then in front of the House on Wednesday. And what happens here, this is done once a year, folks. Okay, he has to report to Congress. And bottom line is that they go through a huge amount of questions. And I suspect what he's going to be talking about is that it's going to be higher for longer and that market is going to not dig it. We're going to take a look at the, uh, so that's, I put the cues up first. Oh the, oh, the cues. Okay, let's do the cues. So the cues, this is pretty amazing. The cues, folks, they did it to the, like, right to the number, man. It did a 0.618. Same setup in the cues. The cues are going to have a huge contraction of volume out here today. You gave, give up in price. I don't, I don't expect these to come back today. Right now, you're at uh, 42 million shares. We, on Friday, you did 60 million shares, and you're going into 59 million shares. So bottom line, let's go into the futures and take a look at the futures and try to figure out, you know, it, it's not that there's a lot of downdrafts out here either today. Uh, when, I'm, when I bring up the futures, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So you can see, oh, that's subtle. Oh, interesting. Okay, so watch this. I, that being said, when I was just talking and yapping right there, what you just did have, this bar here just had an expansion of volume. The bar, as soon as I, three to 310. So that's gonna get back down there, number one, and that's uh, 4051. And right now, uh, you're at 4057. Now let's go into the NQs. Take a look at the NQs. Stretch this out a little. Same setup, man. Same setup. So this is, you get 60 minutes to sell. This is going to get interesting. I don't think it's going to be a, a vicious, you know, pullback here. Right? You can see what, what the... What the S&P has done, the S&P has gone, kind of gone sideways for the last uh, 20, 30 minutes. Um, the NASDAQ, however, basically went lower. But we'll see where it shakes out. The, I don't expect buyers to come in. That's the real bottom line. Why? Because you already get a failure in price and volume. And even with, whether you're a bull or a bear, uh, <laughs> you, you're going to want to hear what he has to say. Because what does happen is this, folks, okay, is that the first day, 
is where most of the information is going to come out. Now, what does end up happening is that the Senate is first tomorrow, and then the representatives will be able to ask them huge amounts of questions. But most of the time, what you're going to get out of it is the first hour to hour and a half. That's, he's going to come in first with the whole speech. That speech will get published approximately 15 to 20 minutes before he starts the speech. Then you can expect high volatility. That's the bottom line. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What you're looking at gold is that gold last week. So what we had is this. Gold, you know, came off the November 8th sign of strength. Okay, goes back there first comes off there and, you know, it come off a pretty good, pretty good volume. There's, there's, you know, especially the second day off it. And then, you know, Friday wasn't that big. That's the real bottom line. So today out here, you get a sideways move. Now, the sideways move and lower is actually with light volume, you know, which, which, is, which is a bullish indication. So, you know, my take is that we're going to actually come back down and retest that area. And the reason that I'm saying that is I suspect what the retest is all about is that what we're going to get is that this good old U.S. dollar. Well, here, let me go to the bonds first because the bonds, the bonds are the number. The, what the bonds had done, the 10-year had done 100% move or move. And what that means is that you start out at one point, the bottom line, the, the start out at 110.08. This goes all the way back to uh, October, goes all the way up to 116.28, back down on Thursday to one. 10, 12, and now you get a failure in price and volume today, and it's a monster, man. I mean, we had gone up to 111.17. We're at 111. You only got 1.1 million contracts. That also more than likely is setting up another ABC structure on the way down. We get over to the dollar, and we take a look at the dollar. What you have with the dollar, that 106 to 107 is still game in spades. We've gone sideways for about 10 days right now. And I think what that's going to be all about is that the Fed's going to, Powell's going to say, hey, you know, inflation's lasting longer. You know, inflation's not going away, folks. I mean, I, it, it blows my mind that, you know, people think it can go away, away in a year. Yeah, it's not even close, man. It, it, it took us a long time to get here. It just doesn't disappear. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up nine. NASDAQ is down two. S&P's uh, up two and a half. Come right back.